Hello everyone and welcome back. I decided to do a video tonight on supper. Uh, tonight I'm going to be making, right here is, these are home grown, home raised, whatever you want to call it, pork steaks. One's a big one, one's a little one, so it'll be kind of a funny cut. I'm actually getting down there in my pork now. I mean I still have quite a bit in there, but um, uh, not as much of a variety. And I'm also going to be making smothered, I call them fried potatoes, Melissa calls them smothered potatoes. Anyway, we're going to fry some potatoes up in the pan. And um, most people seem to get this wrong. It's super simple to do. You just have to uh, know how to cook them at first to get them just right. I already have the barbecue going out there. Let's see, what do we have here? That's a weird looking old pork steak. <laughs> it's almost like a pork roast there. Well, I set those uh, steaks aside for now. My garden, I'd say maybe two weeks. I could uh, actually harvest eggplant right now. I'd say about two weeks and I'm going to start to get some stuff out of there. And I really do like buying these frozen vegetables when the garden isn't in season because it has all the stuff that I like. It's got cauliflower, broccoli, yellow squash, zucchini, and carrots. So I'm just going to keep this simple. It's bad enough that we're making uh, fried potatoes as far as dishes goes. So put this in foil, a little bit of butter in there, a little bit of seasoning, wrap it up and we'll just throw it on the grill and let it kind of steam itself. So for the potatoes, I'm just going to put some oil in here, like that. Then I'm just going to put in a half a stick of butter. And uh, this would be much better if you do it in a uh, cast iron pan. But um, and I actually took my Griswold out and then I thought, uh, that's going to be a... I want everything to get browned, so that's really going to stick to the pan. <laughs> so I just went for this one here, it'll clean up easier. And then just put some seasoning on there. You can put onions in here if you want. Most people do. I'm not in the mood for onions today, so I just want fried potatoes. I'm going to turn on the oven or the stove top now. I'm going to put it on 5, between the 1 and 10, just a little bit. Just about halfway, just to get it heated up. Then I'm going to turn it down a lot lower, around 2 to 3. Because the trick to making really good um, fried or smothered potatoes is you got to cook them really low until you can push the fork through them. Otherwise, you're going to burn the potatoes. And you're going to cover them uh, right up till the end, just about. So until we're right at the very end, we want to get them really nice and browned, we'll keep them covered. Throw these on, but I'm going to have to turn the grill, um, like the damper and the... Anyway, keep the airflow down in here because uh, with all this fat on there, this is going to flare up real easy. I think with these pork steaks, I want to have a little bit of a wood smoke uh, flavor to it. This is all apple that I've uh, split. Actually, the stuff on the left here I split today. And the stuff that I have underneath the tarp was uh, done last fall. That's going to be much drier. I'm just going to grab a couple pieces of this, put it directly on the coals, a couple of small ones, just to get a little bit of the apple smoke flavor. I think I'll run in and grab those vegetables and we'll throw them off to the side in there just so they can, like I said, kind of warm up and steam a little bit. Well, this is starting to heat up a little bit now. I'm actually, with this one, um, this burner doesn't get as hot as the my broken side over here. 
So I'm actually going to turn it down to about three and a half on this one. You want it to not simmer. It want, you want it to cook, but you don't want it to burn. They're going to still want to kind of stick to the bottom of the pan. So every, I don't know, four or five minutes, you want to kind of mix them up a little bit and then get that cover back on so that they can get soft. <laughs> That smell good. You can see one of those pieces of apple down there. It's just sitting on there smoldering, which is just perfect. Not yet. You can tell they're starting to get closer because some of the skins are starting to fall off. Uh, the outside kind of gets a little mushy, which is fine, um, exactly how you want them. I think I'm going to open up the draft a little bit. Oh, they're cooking up really nice, though. All right, they're just about ready to start browning now, so almost all of them are soft. Okay, so now I'm going to uncover it. I'm going to turn it up to seven and let that get heated up. Now the potatoes are going to try to stick to the bottom, which is what we want because that's going to give us that nice browned look. And uh, from now on, you won't have the cover on it anymore. Once you have it uncovered, every minute or so, minute or two, you're going to want to flip the potatoes. Actually, if they start to get too hot, you'll easily smell them start to burn. <laughs> I like to kind of mash them flat and they kind of come apart a little bit. You can start to hear those potatoes start to crackle. You can actually turn it up a little bit if you want because they're done being cooked. You're just trying to brown them. You just have to be careful that you don't ruin the whole batch by burning you know, one whole layer underneath. Okay, so these are, I'd say, perfectly done right now. Take it on and turn off the heat. Uh, one thing you can do, like when I make them with Melissa, she likes to have cheese on these too. And I just kind of flatten them out in the pan and I'll take fine grated um, whatever, you know, cheddar or whatever, and just sprinkle it over it and it just melts right away and then you've got it, I think then they're like covered, <laughs> smothered and covered or whatever they call it. So anyway, that's good too. Like I said, onions, green peppers, cheese, whatever you want to add in there. Well, those potatoes, they took about a half hour, the way I did them in there. These are actually getting pretty close, but this one over here is such a thick end on it. That one's going to be in there longer. I think I'll take this smaller one off. I'm going to check that and see if it's done. Move these vegetables over here on the heat a little more. I'm just going to check this and sure it's not red in there or the juices are are clean they are I'm gonna try a piece of this it looks so good Wow that is super good the homegrown pork thing is so good and that little bit of a smoky taste in there awesome I think I'll give this one about 15 more minutes just to make sure that it's really done and then it'll be time to eat. Looks like everything is ready to go. 
I'll be able to eat this for probably three days. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for watching, and that's what's for dinner. I will see you guys on the next video. We are so close to a stir fry. I can't wait.